Hello guys, this is Marilyn and welcome to another Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi battle. Today I've had a battle versus Blue Eye 95 and we used to do battles but we both got Wi-Fi problems and I fixed my problems and he still had those problems and I um, told him the same thing I did to fix my um, Wi-Fi and he did that and it actually worked for him so he got Wi-Fi, I got Wi-Fi both very happy <laughs> but anyway um, he's a really good battler and please check him out if you want a good battle because he's just he's pretty damn awesome um, we did a Yu Yu battle I'm just going to warn you um, before you even watch this is a very very long battle it has 49 turns and that's really a lot I really didn't expect to be that long but he's just uh, it wasn't really a uh, a stally battle but it was more um, predicting all the time and I don't really like the word predicting because I don't really predict stuff but this battle I actually had to do that um, but it was a Yu Yu match it was a fun one and he actually used Pokemon I used to use a lot of times like um, the Mian Xiao and he leads off of his Mian Xiao and I lead off with my Gligar and I just go for the Stealth Rock while he U turns out and ah oh, dang Mian Xiao is just a freaking awesome Pokemon. I think it's my favorite uh, fighting type Pokemon. But anyway, I have the rocks and I can't do anything to the Rose Raid, so I have to switch out into my Umbra and my Nox. And he goes for the Toxic Spikes, which was pretty obvious. Unfortunately, I do not have a Rapid Spinner nor a Poison type Pokemon, so I'm kind of stuck here with the Poison. Um, critical hit on the file play and that was very awesome. Even without the crit it would do pretty much, I was really surprised. I just went for another file play and it did over half, it wasn't even a crit so it was really cool. Even for a not very effective move, I really love that move, I'm going to use it more often. I've never used it before, <laughs> that's why I was so surprised. But um, anyway, he it turns out I even mummied, mummified the <laughs> regenerator. Which was even better for me. And he has his Miss Magius up now. And Miss Magius is just going to troll me. Well, actually, I thought that he might predict that I'm going to switch out. So I stayed in and went for the Shadow Ball. And it was actually a good play. <laughs> I take out the Rose Raid, which is cool. Not that he had a lot of HP left, but it's still cool to have it down because he might have had the Leaf Storm or something like that. Back comes the Miss Magius and I have to switch out now because I was pretty sure he would go for the Shadow Ball. Nox comes back in, it gets poisoned and um, thankfully it has um, the Heal Bell which can heal my Pokemon so it's kind of my little savior here. Umbreon did a really good job this match, I, I can already say that. Um, in comes his Gligar, I go for the foul play, doesn't do anything, so I actually can't do anything with um, that Gligar on the field, so I actually just, I don't really know what to do. I just stayed in and went for the heal bell, I believe, because I want to get rid of the poison, because poison racking up is not nice, I hate poison, except when it's on the opponent's team. <laughs> and um, here we have a Milotic, and this is the most annoying Pokemon of the match. I flipped some tables after fighting this Milotic. <laughs> anyway, he um, Dragon tails me out into my Ambipom, and um, I wanted to go for the return. I was a little bit too greedy, I have to admit that. Because obviously he has a Miss Magius, and this Miss Magius is obviously going to come out because, well, why wouldn't he? I didn't have any sort of ghost dark thing type moves. <laughs> I can't speak. Anyway, I uh, can't do anything because I'm locked into return because I'm a bandit um, ambipom. So I have to switch out again into my Umbreon and he switched out again into his Gligar which was an excellent prediction of his because I can't do anything against the Gligar. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a bit of a cold. Anyway, he goes for the Roost and Roost is obviously going to take back all his health and um, uh, yeah, I wanted to go for the Toxic because I thought he might switch out, but unfortunately he doesn't, so it was all good for him and all bad for me. I went for the Heal Bell because I just wanted to get rid of the poison again, because all my Pokemon got poisoned and stuff and I do not like that. 
But yeah, I could really do anything about it because the poison keeps coming back, especially with that annoying Gliger. Get away from here, Gliger. <laughs> I just go for the wish because I want to get some HP back. But what happens now is I kind of have to switch up because I don't really know what to do against that Gliger. I could go for the heal bug again, but it would probably be pretty useless. I go for the Aqua too. And have you ever seen that on a Gliger? Yes, well... I thought I was a little bit creative there, <laughs> but I thought, l let's just say, because Gliger is a very common Pokemon in UU, what if you just are left with a Gliger and your opponent may also be left with a Gliger? You can't Toxic it, you can't Earthquake it, it will just be nothingness. So I thought that was pretty smart of my... me. <laughs> it, 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 it's just some weird theory, but it, it worked the battle. Uh, anyway, he goes for the Scald, and Scald does more than I want it to, but I'm probably going to die anyway, so I decide to stay in and go for a um, Will-O-Wisp, because, well, actually just some wrecking damage because I didn't have Toxic on this, uh, this guy. It does enough to do hurt to him. <laughs> I can't speak today. I just I need to stop talking actually. <laughs> but I actually have a little surprise here because this freaking Kingdra is awesome. I can do substitute and I can do dragon dance and his dragon tail is not good enough to take out my sub. So I'm actually just safe here on my, uh, my little doll and I uh, can just set up the dragon dance and that's absolutely fine because well he can't do anything about it right now. I just go for the dragon dance. I didn't want to get greedy, so I just set up one dragon dance. I could have set up two, I think, now I think about it. But I didn't decide to do that, so um, I just go for the outrage now. And I take out that Mian Xiao, which is partly a sad thing because I really love Mian Xiao, but it had to die, unfortunately. Um, I go for another um, outrage, and that outrage does not kill. And I'm all ragey <laughs> because I wanted it to kill. But I have this Ambipom. I thought I got a locked into a move anyway, so I could go for the Ice Punch. It would probably kill, right? Because of the burn damage and stuff. Well, think again, Marlene. That was absolutely wrong. It does not kill. <laughs> Let's flip some tables, everybody, because I'm raging at the moment. It was so mean. And he has the rest and has the rest talking stuff and. It, this thing is annoying, annoying, I tell you. I was just raging here. But I do not rage quit because it, I totally didn't have the reason to. Because it was just a good play. Um, he goes for the sleep talk and get the, the dragon till. And obviously that's going to take me out to my Umbreon. And Umbreon can't really do anything. Um, but maybe it was a good idea to go for a heal bell and stuff like that, just to stay in and troll him. I could have gone for the foul play actually, because it might have taken that um, um, Victini's HP down a little. It would have been good, but I didn't do that and unfortunately I can't stay in for another um, turn, because he's probably going to go for an evil attack like you turn. So I'm glad I switched out into my Gliger, but then in comes the Miss Maggie is, but thank god, again, thank god, I have the Aqua Tool. Because if it didn't have that, I couldn't have done anything to this Miss Maggie is. So that's great. I just go for the Aqua Tool, thankfully it does not miss. And it does quite a lot, more than I, I thought. And um, I just go out into my Amber Palm, and Amber Palm can't resist. Um, completely ignore that <laughs> um, Shadow Ball, so that's great. I just go for the U-turn because, well, I thought he might switch out, but he doesn't do that in the end. Um, in comes my Gliger, and he goes for the Hidden Power Fighting, which I kind of expected. So it was good I switched out to that. And I decided to stay in, I went for another Aqua Tool, and hoping I would survive this um, Shadow Ball, and I do. So I killed off that Miss Maggie, so that's absolutely great. And um, he sends in his um, his his thingy, his um, Victini, <laughs> and he kills my um, Gliger, which was kind of expected. Gliger did a good job, so I'm, I'm proud of it. But his Gliger still up, which is well, it's a problem. 
and I need to get rid of the glider so I just went for the ice sponge see how much that will do and it does not kill <laughs> oh my god just die already Pokemon why do you usually I'm lucky with the HP you know on my other battles I usually live a few HP now my opponent has that type of luck it's annoying me so much now I know what my opponents were going through <laughs> Anyway, locked into Ice Punch doesn't do anything to the melodic. I'm pretty much forced to switch out, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm switching out into my Umbrian to take everything that thingy throws at me. He gets lucky with the Sleep Talk again, and he gets the Dragon Tail, so he Dragon Tails me out. <coughs> Excuse me once again. And in comes the Raikou of mine. And I should have maybe gone for the Thunderbolt, but I didn't really feel like it. I went for the Volt Switch instead, and um, it did more than I expected because my Lodic is usually more um, specially defensive. So I think this is a defensive variant, but I'm not very sure. Um, he gets the Scald from the Sleep Talk, and he's pretty lucky with the Sleep Talk so far. He didn't get any rest. Um, so far, I believe. But um, yeah, my Umbreon still survives. I'm just going to go for the wish because I want some HP back. <laughs> because I'm getting quite annoyed. And uh, the one who gets the HP back is my Ambipom in the end. Because he uh, got switched out by the um, thingy till, dragon till. <laughs> I can't speak. And he goes for the rest because again, I didn't kill. <laughs> It, it, I flipped so many tables in this room, and there aren't many tables, but I flipped them all. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. Why? Why, my Lodic? Please, give me this one chance. <sighs> anyway, I go for the return. Return doesn't kill once again, but um, thankfully I'm faster, so I can kill off this Gligar again, thankfully. I'm so happy I got that Gligar down because it was annoying. Um, I was afraid that this Victini was scarfed, so I switched out into my Umbreon to take that hit. So I could get a safe switch for um, my Raikou. But in the end, it was actually banded, so... But I, I wanted to be safe. I, I heard that after the battle, so... Um, I had to do it with this. I went for the Shadow Ball, I, I should have gone for the Thunderbolt, but I thought he, for some reason, for some really weird reason, I thought that he still had this Gligar as his last Pokemon. I completely forgot about this annoying troll Pokemon. And it's... Uh, I, I actually sped up this last bit because this was the only part that was really stallish and annoying me, because it kept going for the sleep talk and rest all the time. And um, me just going for the outrage, hoping to get some uh, damage off. I got a crit that was pretty awesome, so I thought maybe I can finally kill him at this moment. Hopefully I will, hopefully I get some max damage of some sort. No, it once again lives a few HP and it goes for the rest. Thank you, Mylodic, for being such a freaking troll. And my Kingra dies, so I have to go to my Scratcher, my Amapom. And Amapom is not strong enough to um, kill him off, I already saw that. Um, I just go for another return because, you know, I'm locked to return. Third return wouldn't kill him, but thankfully he goes for the Dragon Tail from the Sleep Talk. And with this absolutely great advantage, I can go for the Thunderbolt and hopefully I'll be able to kill him. And I do. <laughs> That's really awesome. Thank you for the Dragon Tail for once because I was getting quite annoyed with that Milotic. Hopefully you enjoyed this battle a little bit. It was really long but it was fun for me at least. It was really exciting for me because it was a really it was a really tough battle and I barely won so it was a lot of fun. Uh, I want to thank you um, Blue Eye 95 for battling me. Also I apologize a little bit because my voice is not very great today. It's because everyone is sick here, and I hopefully I won't get sick myself, but um, also can't narrate a lot because a lot of people are here sick in their beds and don't really want to wake them up. So I'm sorry if this narration isn't too awesome right now. But um, 
hopefully you'll stay tuned for my next video because that will be my uh, 100th video already <laughs> and I'm going to do a special battle and I won't say much about it yet maybe some of you have seen a little bit of it already um, but you'll see the full thing in the next video <laughs> I won't say too much about it yet anyway so thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys next time bye bye